Mike, congratulations on win on that famous stage and see you obviously you loved every minute of it. Just sum up how you're feeling right now. Well I'm buzzing. Um, t until two weeks ago I wasn't even in it and, and now I won my first game so yeah I'm over the moon. What was it like when you got the call to say you were in? Um, I was jumping at home and my, my girlfriend asked what, what are you doing? So <laughs> yeah I was really happy. Well you, you don't want anyone to drop out and because and, everyone earned their spot but you know in the time we live in now with Covid and, and the restrictions to travel there was a big chance, so I'm happy I got the call. Did you know you were first reserve? I didn't when I lost. When I lost in the qualifier, I, I was so angry and so disappointing, disappointed. I, I didn't know. And then I got a message from a good friend, and he said, yeah, you're first reserve. And then I was thinking, well, then maybe I still have a shot. And and you, you, you can't really hope for it, because if you really hope for it then then probably it, it it doesn't happen and so I said you know what I'll just practice tell the world and then on 6th of December I got the phone call you a believer in fate because that one win has bumped you back up into the top 64 I think 57 mm -hmm. as as we sit here now things happen for a reason and you must be I know, you know like you said no one wants to pull out but it just means so much for you this one result yeah, of course. Um, even before the qualifier, I was thinking about Q School because yeah, I wasn't in the Worlds and I, I, I had one more shot and that was the, the qualifier. So I was putting my mind onto Q School, going back to Q School, hopefully getting my car back. So yeah, this means this means the world. Um, hopefully I stay in the top 64 now and keep my card. What's the last month, six weeks been like? Because we saw you at the Grand Slam, one very good performance but didn't get anything and then no. two substandard performances. For, for you, so what was confidence and what's the mindset been like since the Grand Slam? Well, I know my game on the floor has been decent the last two years, decent to very good. Um, I know that I have problems with bringing my floor game to the stage, so I knew on the Grand Slam, after the first one, and then of course the, the hype around Fallon, she's playing brilliant, um, everyone loves her, the crowd is behind her, and then, then playing my second or third major in my career playing her yeah the, the, and the way she started off was, was was brilliant and so yeah it was it, it was not difficult to put that aside me because I know I, w I was playing well but still you're thinking about stage and that's something I need to get get rid of my head out of my head you played Fallon first hand how big a job has Steve beaten got tomorrow night Hmm. I think Steve has a lot more experience than, than, than I do because it's his 30 31st Worlds. So he'll be be able to cope with the crowd and, and the booing because and, you know it's going to happen. So uh, he's experienced enough to, to, to block that out and play his own game. Well, pleasure as always. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mike, in many ways, was there less pressure on this game, knowing that two weeks ago you weren't even here, and now you're in the, in the second round of the World Championships? Yeah, it was. Uh, I didn't came in with a lot of pressure. I just, I was happy that I was in. Like, everyone wants to play on stage, and I said to my manager and my parents and my friends, I said, you know, we'll see what happens. If I win, it's good. If I don't win, then I'll go back to Q School. So... Obviously, you're now 57th in those in those all important rankings. Are you very aware when you're on stage that a win could take you up to that? Mm, no, on stage, not on stage. I'm just trying to focus on darts and only darts. I don't want to give a lot of attention to the crowd or, or random things. I just want to play darts. So. Yeah, and you mentioned the grand slam. How much did you learn from you get three games on stage, and that's a big learning experience for you? Yeah, I think it, it helped me a lot because after the first set, I really relaxed and I really could play my game. And I think the Grand Slam helped him a lot because the first set was a bit nervy and scratchy, and then he hit a nine order. And I went off stage, went outside, had a breath, went back inside, and, and I played a lot better in the, the last three sets than the, than the first one. I think maybe Darius suffered from hitting that nine dart, so sometimes players can go up the ball once they hit one. We went backstage and he said, well, it's a lot of adrenaline and maybe it's not a good time to hit it now. So, well, maybe it did affect him.
Cheers for your time, Malcolm. Welcome.